In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at my smart home desk controller. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. A few months ago, I showed you a little snippet of a desk controller that I've been working on. And since then, I've been super busy, which just really hasn't left me with any time to test and play and tinker with this little device which is where I thought you guys could come in. For today's video, I've teamed up with FlexiSpot to create a small challenge for you guys to basically take the design that I'm gonna show you in just a second and just enhance and improve it for your chance to win one of their awesome standing desks. And if you don't know who FlexiSpot are, FlexiSpot are a huge manufacturer of ergonomic standing desks, as well as other office and home furniture. Personally, I've been using FlexiSpot desks for the last four years now, and honestly, these things do not disappoint. The setup is super simple, requiring minimal tools and effort, and depending on the model you choose, it's usually just a case of assembling the legs and frame, and then a case of screwing in the tabletop. There's a huge range of different materials to choose from, and over the years I've had the all-white chipboard top, some of the walnut tops, and most recently this absolute beast which is the bamboo top. What I love most about these desks is just how solid and sturdy they are. My setup contains a bunch of hefty monitors, my PC, a pile of random gear, and lots of other random stuff that's usually scattered all over my desk. But this desk has no problems standing and sitting, and it has no problem with shaking or wobbling. And most importantly, I can have the desk move about without worrying about spilling my tea. With the feet of the desk, there's also the option to add casters. So I bought some additional casters for mine just so I could pull it away from the wall so I can get behind the PC to do any of those maintenance things that you wanna do. One of the best features about these desks though is the fact that all of the desk controllers feature an additional control port that you can use to plug in and tinker away, which brings us back nicely to today's project because that's exactly what we're doing. On my desk, I've got the Stream Deck Plus, which is Elgato's configurable, customizable, clicky button, touch screen, twisty knob thing, and it's great. You can give it access to Home Assistant, which will allow you to control all of the devices in your home. And I've been using it to just control the lighting in my house so I can toggle them on and off and I can adjust the brightness. It's actually become my go-to and it's the main way that I've been adjusting everything in my office just because it's super convenient and it's at arm's reach. However, it does cost over 130 pounds. And when I turn my PC off, it ceased to exist, which means I can't use it anymore. There's actually quite a lot of times where I'm just sat at my desk and the PC is off and it just turns the Stream Deck Plus into this giant hunk of plastic that can't control anything. And of course, I could just use my phone or my voice or even some smart home buttons to control the things that I want, but where's the fun in that? Instead, what I've decided to do is just take the hard route and tinker and design my own thing that does the thing that I want it to do. For this project, I had a couple of different bits of criteria that I wanted it to meet. Of course, I want it to work with Home Assistant, I wanted it to be ESP based, and after using the Stream Deck Plus, I decided that the favorite input that I had was a touchscreen, and using a touchscreen, I can obviously customize and design the display to be whatever I want it to be, and place and position and color things however I want them to be, so I went with the touchscreen. For the touchscreens, I decided to pick up some of the Nextian basic displays, which are available over at Amazon and also at ITAD. And I went with these just because it helped keep the cost down because I wasn't sure if this was gonna be the final display that I used. Maybe I might swap to something else, but it kept the cost down. And I'm also quite familiar with this type of display thanks to the many Sonoff NS panel videos that I've done. To customize the displays, I've been making use of the Nextian editor, which is a little bit janky, but it does work. To get started, all you need to do is to create a new project, which involves selecting the screen type that you have. And if you don't know what screen type you have, it is just labeled on the back. Once you've done this, you've got a blank canvas, which is the size of the screen that you've chosen, and you can start dragging and dropping different components using the WYSIWYG editor. There's definitely a bit of a learning curve with using this, but it's nothing that's too strenuous or crazy. And once you've done designing, you can start testing it and prototyping it by either compiling the code to an SD card and then popping this card in the screen, or you can do what I do and just plug the screen in and load it straight onto the display. So that's the display side of things, but what about the controls? To integrate the display with my smart home, I went with the obvious choice, which is an ESP32 connected to ESP Home. Using ESP Home, I can obviously expose the device to Home Assistant, which allows me to trigger different actions, control devices, all with the tap of a screen. Also, as I've got control over the next gen display using the ESP, I can do things like 
to control the screen brightness and have the screen turn on and off, which I can also expose to Home Assistant and have Home Assistant control this display. After playing around with ESP Home and the display for a little bit, I quickly had a working demo of being able to press some buttons and have them turn on and off lights, and it was at this point that I opted to make use of the bigger screen and started working a bit more on the UI. With the display and controls all working, it was time to combine these and fit all of the spaghetti inside of a nice housing, so the next thought process was where do I want to place it? I could have it on the desk next to the Stream Deck Plus, but then it's kind of a bit ugly looking and a better position where it could go, where it's even closer in arm's reach, would be to just have it mounted underneath the desk. Deciding that I wanted it mounted underneath my desk, I started looking at placements for where it could go underneath the desk, and under my desk is actually quite busy. I've got a drawer, the FlexiSpot controller, some USB ports, and then I'd have this little touch screen squeezed next to it, so I started looking at how I could combine that desk controls with the touch screen and just have one device to rule them all. A quick Google search led me to the comprehensive Locket Motion IoT project, which is just a massive guide that tells you about all of the different controllers and everything you need to do to set up your own desk and the different comms and different communications you need to set to control your desk. So a sliced Ethernet cable and a couple of Wago clips later, and I had this monstrosity. Combining all of this has led me to this Frankenstein, but this Frankenstein allows me to control all of my different smart home devices. I can use a touch screen to navigate and control and do the different things that I want to do. I can have the desk go up and down, I can have the desk go to a set preset, and it just does what I want it to do. It is a bit of a Frankenstein, but I have started working on ideas and plans to tidy up all of the cabling and to create a better housing for this, but this is the point where I'm at to share this with you guys, for you guys to take it and to do something cool with it, and to create your own ideas and potentially win yourself one of these FlexiSpot desks. Hey, Mark from the future here. Just in case you happen to be watching this video at the time it goes out, this video was actually filmed a few weeks ago and the challenge time is actually a bit different to when I said. So if you happen to be watching it now, make sure you check the link in the description below because that contains the exact date for when the challenge closes. Back to your video. To enter this challenge and to potentially win yourself one of FlexiSpot standing desks, all you need to do is just send an email over to deskchallenge at markwattech.com, followed by your submission. And your submission can be pretty much whatever you want it to be, whether that be a written document, some images, some photos, images and photos are the same thing, but some videos, a 3D mock-up, 3D render, STL files, pretty much whatever you want it to be. Just be sure that whatever you do submit, you are happy for it to potentially be seen by other people, as in a future video, I may show off some of the cool submissions, so go as crazy and go as wild as you want. To get you started, I will also be sharing the files and all of the bits and code and everything that I've used for this Frankenstein project, and you'll find details for all of those over at GitHub and also at my Patreon. The challenge will run till the end of March, at which point I'll pick my favourite submission, and that person will win the standing desk. I'll also be releasing a full how-to guide on this project, so if this is something that you want to build for your own desk, there'll be a full guide on how to do that. And if you are interested in seeing that, be sure to leave this video a like. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell, and you'll be alerted to any future video that I do. A massive thank you to FlexiSpot for helping out with this challenge and also for my desks. You'll be seeing a lot more of these desks in future videos and also in some of the workshop content that I'm doing, but that'll be a whole other thing and it's one for another video. But there we go guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.